What's up, guys? This is the Outward Generation Q Season 3, yeah, Episode 9. Next week, we got one more episode coming up this week. I know I'm a little late. I forgot to talk about somebody passed away, you know, Diamond. My condolence go to her, her fam, you know, go to her family and everything. I we miss them together, but, you know, life must go on. You know what I'm saying? I can't believe she's gone. You know, I love them both. Just want to get it out there. How I was supposed to do that from the you know, last week. Now we're on Monday. You know, it's 2, well, 7 minutes to 2 a.m. over here. So, let's just get to the show. Because, um, the episode to me was pretty decent. Okay, well, maybe. Maybe so. Because we also see that, um, let me see, Carrie and I forgot the girl's name. They was watching um, the program, the hospital, what happened. We see Finley, they're going to go on the hike. That's how it started. Then we see uh, Angie, she's still, you know, upset about what happened between her and the professor. And, you know, her roommate told her, you need to get your lazy ass up and go to the show, go, I forgot, go do her reading. And then Beth and Tina shows up and Angie had to get a shower because the room was a complete mess. And, you know, she would try to sleep it off, you know, trying to hide her feelings or stuff like that. And of course, you know, Beth and Tina was just, you know, they back, I guess we'll see them next. See, so, pardon me. I guess we'll see them again next week. So, it's good to see them back. Also, then, you know, I forgot the roommate names away, but it'll come back to me. Then we see um, Shane in bed. And that's where Tess was going. I think she was going to work. And Shane was laying down. So, I feel like at that point, I think it's for the best. Well, we'll get to that. See Alice and Sophie. You know, doing a show about, um, I think, racial or, I forgot. I forgot. I'm not even going to remember it because all the social media is still, it's all said what Alice say about everything about genders, not genders, about lesbian, gay community, and queer community. And she's not going to go back on it. So we definitely know what's going to happen. And everybody didn't want to come. Of course, we see Carrie and Finley, they were doing the hike. And, of course, they um, went for a walk. And then we'll go to the next. Of course, Alice and Sophie was talking to the um, person on the phone saying that you need to do take care of this. Otherwise, they're going to have to cancel the show. And I just don't want to cancel. We see Danny and Dre. Because, you know, Dre, I think she's writing down lyrics or whatever she's doing. We see Danny on the phone. And they start making out. And then when... Uh, especially when Drea said, Dre said that I'm falling for you, then he kind of hesitated, didn't say nothing. I'm not sure what was that about. So I'm still wondering, maybe she not, you know, still scared. You know what I'm saying? Remember she told Gigi that she don't want to get hurt again. And surprisingly, she didn't tell Dre that. And we're going to get what's going on. And that's when she had a phone call with Sophie. You know, want to see neither her. We see Beth and Tina. They went to the show to do a reading with Angie. Angie talking to her friend, and they were talking about the professor. She really didn't want to go because she don't want to see his face. But she went there. She got cleaned up, got the hair in the bun, went up there. He was doing his beast, and of course, that's how it ended right there for now. Alice and them had to um, basically going to figure out what they're going to do. Danny's there. The how Alice and of course was, you know, to tell Vila what has happened. Oh, um, after that, this we see Professor and Angie was having the conversation. You know, he found out that somebody broke into his car and they took that book. Cause I think he knows it's Angie, cause Angie's not gonna say it was her. She didn't take responsibility for that part. So we'll get to that. They still 